today in this video, I just want to point out our standards, right? And the standards are uh, the laws that we have to follow. Oh, I think that's a little high. Uh, the laws that OSHA has designed to keep us safe, okay? And so you'll have access to all of the links. There'll be links to each of the standards or each of the laws related to uh, every part of construction. And so you, it, you should understand that. Uh, so the OSHA standards, the 29 CFR part is just a, that's the federal register. It's a, a number related to the law that was passed. So you don't care about that. But the 1910 part, there are industry standards for general industry that are some of the same ones that apply to the construction industry, but construction industry has their own, which is the CF 29 CFR 1926. And so when you go through each of the modules for the falls, for the struck buys, and then each of the individual modules for each of excavation, whatever, I'm going to ask you to find the standard that sets that rule, right? Because for each of the operations that we perform, okay? So let's go to this next thing that I'm showing, and I don't think I can make, I can't make it bigger. But this is a list of all of the standards, all of the 1926 standards. So everything related to construction from, you see we here have uh, housekeeping, so those are the rules, 1926.25 are the OSHA standards or the OSHA laws or the OSHA rules related to housekeeping with respect to the construction industry. And so health, and, uh, we have a part uh, that is the health hazards and health standards in construction. Well, a lot of those laws and a lot of the provisions and a lot of the answers to the questions are going to be found within the book that you'll have access to, a link to all of this, where you can go and answer those questions. And so it's very important that you look through subpart D. What is subpart D? Now, if we're talking about uh, PPE, okay? So you're going to be looking at studying the laws that are in subpart E. Okay, and so what are the standards? I mean, our, our country is run by laws, right? We have laws for everything. There's a, a 29 CFR, well, that's construction. Well, CVC, those are civic rules of everything. We have laws for everything, right, in this country. Some of us follow them, some of us don't. But when it comes to construction, it's the same thing. So fire protection and prevention. Now, if you did the intro to OSHA, you see why they have all these laws, because we just don't treat people right, and we have to make laws to make sure that at least we have a law that says you broke it, right? So everything here, <laughs> everything is here and there will be links. So, in your module, there are mandatory courses. There's one module for all the mandatory classes. And then there are modules for each of the individual electives. And so again, the concept of your OSHA study is to understand what, ha what the hazards are, no matter what the topic, what the hazards are, how to prevent them, what is the employer's responsibility, and uh, what steps need to be taken with respect to that, and with respect to operations, excavations, cranes, ladders, whatever. There are rules, there's laws, there are standards, and so you have to be able to go to the links within the standards which is kind of what we're looking at here, but there will be links. And you'll have to tell me the number of that standard. 
related to if they say, okay, uh, a ladder has to be a certain height above the landing. Well, where where is that in the standards? What? Because guess what? <laughs> guess what? <laughs> when you have a violation imposed on you, they use the numbers. They say you broke this law, so we want to be able to have you go backwards. Okay. And so, any questions? This is in addition to once you start to get into each of the types of hazards, you'll have to review how to prevent those hazards and what the standards are. So if you have any questions, make sure you email me using the form within the module.